It's time for another broadcast of Brown County Sports on BC Hornet Sports. BC Hornet Sports brings to you Brown County Little League Baseball and Softball. The high school and junior high softball, baseball, volleyball, football, and basketball. These broadcasts would not be possible without the support of our local sponsors. Let the sponsors know how much you appreciate them bringing the broadcast to you. Proceeds from the advertising and donations help to pay the expenses and help Hope Through Faith Ministries to help local sports programs and activities bring speakers to speak to our Brown County students as well as other programs such as critical life seminars and much more. We hope you enjoy the broadcast on BC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more. Disasters can strike when you least expect it, but that doesn't mean you can't be prepared. At ServiceMaster Restore, we offer pre-loss planning services that will help your business stay better prepared for the unexpected. With over 65 years of industry experience, ServiceMaster Restore has the experience and know-how to provide the peace of mind you need to make sure your business stays protected. Call ServiceMaster Restore today for more information on our pre-loss planning services and get the help you deserve now. Land Guy's Toby Stay's relentless pursuit is to use his local expertise to help connect those with a shared passion for land. If you're in the market to sell, give him a call at 217-257-6096. Additionally, if you're in the market to buy, you can find his current listings by scanning the QR code on the screen or following him on Facebook at Toby Stay Land Broker or on Instagram at Toby Stay. He looks forward to connecting with you and providing a smooth process to your transaction. Larry Downing County has been serving Brown County and the surrounding area for over 40 years. Lance Pabin and his staff work with businesses, individuals, and farmers, offering tax preparation, bookkeeping, payroll, sales tax, and business consultations. Larry Downing County, 443 East Main Street, Mount Sterling, Illinois. Put their experience to work for you today. Call 217-773-3400. Mount Sterling Foods offers our community the selection, variety, and pricing found in a larger market, offering convenience and customer service second to none. Check out the daily lunch specials each day on their Facebook page, or stop by and get some of their delicious fried chicken for Sunday lunch or any meal. Weekly grocery specials can be found in the Democrat message. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mount Sterling Foods, 200 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling, proud sponsor of Brown County Students and Athletics. 
I have been interested in truck driving my whole life. I've been fascinated with the big rig since I was a kid. But after college, I got into business on the marketing side of things, kind of shelved the dream. 30 years later, I quit my job, signed up for truck driving school. It was exciting from the get-go. Dot recruited out of my truck driving school. The job was everything I was hoping it would be, and then some. My weeks absolutely fly by. When my life needed fulfillment, I took the wheel. Culbertson Memorial Hospital is more than just an emergency center for acute illnesses and trauma. From imaging and lab services to physical, occupational, and speech therapy, our team of providers is equipped to treat a wide variety of conditions in a convenient, local setting, so getting the outpatient care you need doesn't require a long trip out of town. Get quality care from the team that knows you best at Culbertson Memorial Hospital. Learn more at hospital.com. Los Rancheros Restaurant in Mount Sterling is your destination for authentic Mexican food. Open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Come and enjoy their daily specials on food and drink. Having a party? Check out Los Rancheros for catering your next event or gathering. Los Rancheros Authentic Mexican Restaurant, 408 Quincy Road, Mount Sterling. Call 217-773-7800. As a student at St. Mary's School, your child will receive strong educational foundation embedded with Christian values. All students, kindergarten through eighth grade, have individual iPads along with personalized attention with a small class size. St. Mary's also offers Fulham half-day pre-K, affordable tuition, a family atmosphere, and exceptional teachers. Register your child today by calling Melissa at St. Mary's School at 217-773-2825. Napa know-how. Hello, Earl Flack, your locally owned McKay Napa Auto Parts store. Summer bodies, summer hot. Oh, what the heck? I'm just talking about summer savings. We've got turtle wax on sale. $6.49 for polishing compound. Meguiar's hot rims and all-wheel tire cleaner. Hot. $6.99 for a bottle. Get the Meguiar's line in our store. Wax on, wax off. That's right. Detail cloths on sale. Got scrubs, got towels, got all the good stuff to keep that car clean. Get the good stuff with Napa know-how and thank you for your business. Timewell Drainage Products is a locally owned family company that has provided incredible employment opportunities in our area for over 40 years. Our constantly growing company is always looking for dynamic individuals who want to be part of an innovative, fast-paced team. To join our team, visit us online at timewellpipe.com. Timewell Drainage Products, a proud community employer since 1982. The Brown County State Bank is proud to support all the Brown County Hornets athletic programs. In fact, we're the only bank offering the Hornet debit card. Every time the card is used at a point of sale, a portion of the proceeds are contributed to the Brown County School. It's our part of our commitment to making them the best they can be. Contact the Brown County State Bank today to get your Hornet debit card at 773-3327. Brown County State Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. With you on BC Hornet Sports in the Scranton Heating and Cooling pregame show, give the Comfort Man a call at 217-773-2626 or find them on the web at comfortman.com. We're in Pleasant Hill today where the Brown County Hornets are playing the Pleasant Hill and they've added Wild to their name, Wild Wolves to their name. Um, Today, uh, Brown County comes in 8-6 and six, and Pleasant Hill comes in 1-7. and seven. I looked, we played them... Uh, back in the month of March, and we won the game 22 to nothing. I um, and uh, I forgot who pitched that game, but I, I know they pitched a good ball game. I think it was Connor. No, it wouldn't have been Connor Flynn, but uh, just a good outing for Brown County all the way around. Uh, looking for the same here today as we're in Pleasant Hill. Glad you could join us on the broadcast. Let's talk about the keys to the game, Lisa, and we keep it very, very simple as far as keys to the game because baseball is all about the basics, as we heard yesterday in the in the uh, uh, 
Cardinal at yeah. the FCA banquet when yep. you had 1987, what, Tommy Herr, Danny Cox, and... Ken Daly. That's it. Yep, and they had a question and answer. And a couple of things was, you know, you got to do the basics correctly. Focus on those basics. Uh, Ken, or uh, Danny Cox had the, probably the best comment of the day and said, play the game, have fun. Have fun. Have fun. And, and, and to parents out there, here's the other thing. Uh, don't force your kids to uh, play if they don't want to play. And uh, he said one of the key points there is if they're in equipment, if they're not getting their equipment ready, then they really don't want to play ball. And so they need to be getting everything ready, should know where their spikes are, should know where their glove and everything is, and should be packing stuff up on their own uh, to get ready to go. That's showing that they have buy-in and want to play. And just some really good comments out of those guys about the sport of baseball and having fun. And Dave Dravecki was the keynote speaker of the day. And uh, Dave Dravecki uh, talked about coming back from uh, cancer and pitching. And he pitched one game and did well. And then came back and about, what was it, the fifth inning or fifth or sixth inning, uh, he sixth threw inning. a pitch up in Montreal and his, uh, his literally his right arm fell off and broke, and he could no longer play baseball any longer. And just uh, talked a lot about faith and faith and your ability to play sports. But talk who you are, that's, that, that doesn't just, you playing sports does not identify who you are. And that's what he had to learn to come back as to who he really was. And it, he was a phenomenal speaker. It had a lot to offer. If you ever get an opportunity to go to a Fellowship of Christian Athletes banquet, you need to do so. Support them. They're a great cause. They're a great people to, to work with and doing a lot for sports. And you're seeing a lot more athletes that are involved and a lot more athletes talking about their faith uh, as being a part of the reason why they're successful. And so uh, we encourage you to, to – we have a local um, – um, oh, huddle, huddle that meets uh, each uh, in the morning and uh, in Brown County and several of those around and a lot of our athletes are part of that uh, Fellowship of Christian Athletes program. And uh, so with that, let's talk about the keys to the game, making it really simple. Number one, from the pitcher's mound, Lisa. No uh, walks. Yeah. And we've seen it, and you've seen it more on the girls because pitching's been a struggle with the girls. Girls are learning to pitch. And uh, walks have turned into runs, and you, you lose by a lot. And if I remember the last time we played Pleasant Hill, there was a lot of walks. Uh, four uh, Pleasant Hill pitchers did, and we won 22 to nothing. The next thing is fielding. What do we want to do on the fielding, Lisa? Uh, we got to make good catches and then field it cleanly. If you catch it, get it in. Uh, because if, and if you don't catch it, make sure you can field it and field it cleanly when you throw it back in. Because once again, wild pitches then. Well, errors. errors. Error, it will lead to errors on that. There is no doubt. Yeah, we talk about errors come in a lot of different forms. An error can be uh, not throwing the ball to the right base. And if you do that, allowing that runner to move up and get an extra base on your throw because you're trying to throw somebody out at home that you have no prayer of throwing out. And the last thing's pretty simple. Put the bat on the ball. Yep. And, uh, you know, things happen. People, Other people make errors and situations happen uh, when that when that occurs. And so with that, Brown County's taking infield right now. We're going to take another station break, and then we'll be back with your starting lineups brought to you by Dot Transportation. We want to thank Blessing Health System for sponsoring the keys to the game. They're at 521 East Main Street in Quincy or in 521 East Main in Mount Sterling. Same day appointments are available. Please call 217-773-7105 for an appointment today. With that, we'll be back after these messages. Local, reliable broadband. You must be talking about CASCOM. I'm Casey French, and we provide amazing support for home and businesses. Internet, television, and phone. We have technicians in your area at all times, and you can actually talk to a local customer service representative. We know our area, and we know our customers. Get to know us. Call CASCOM today at 1-800-252-1799. CASCOM at 1-800-252-1799. Brown County Accounting and Tax recently opened in Mount Sterling. 
The team brings over 30 years of experience and is ready to advise on taxes, bookkeeping, and payroll. We are ready to meet with you with no obligation to discuss your tax saving strategy and have already helped many in the area. Contact us today at 217-770-8082. We're excited to be part of the community and are looking forward to helping you. LM Concrete Construction takes pride in providing quality concrete work to Mount Sterling and the surrounding areas, specializing in flat work, sidewalks, residential, new buildings, or add-ons, commercial and decorative concrete. Call Lorenzo Martinez for all your concrete needs at 779-279-4413. That's 779-279-4413. Hi, this is Brad Casting at Ray Insurance Agency here in Mount Sterling. We're located at 128 West Main Street. You can reach us at 217-773-3851. You may know that we are specialists in farm insurance as well as crop insurance and crop hail. But what you might not know is that we can quote and give you competitive quotes on your home, your auto, and your commercial business. So please feel free to give us a call at 217-773-3851 for all your insurance needs. Thinking about replacing a furnace or building a home? Confused by the options? Contact the Comfort Man at Scranton Heating and Cooling about GeoComfort geothermal systems. Harness the energy stored in the earth to provide your heating and cooling. Geothermal is extremely efficient, safe, and environmentally friendly. It could save you up to 70% on your heating and cooling bills. Call The Comfort Man at Scranton Heating and Cooling at 217-773-2626 to discover the best option for your home. Orthopedics is probably one of the best specialties where you see something that's happened that's ugly and you get to see such a change when you fix them. My passion is getting people back to their regular activities of life. That's the reason why I went into orthopedics this job has been so satisfying. It is so much fun to do what I do. You get to help a lot of people and it's definitely one of the things that give me great satisfaction. Yingling and Nissan Insurance. Stop in and talk to one of our agents today about your insurance needs. We really appreciate the support of the community in our business for the last 40 some years. Come and see us if you have questions on, on your policy with us, or if you want to quote and you're with someone else now, we'd be happy to work with you. If Yingling and Nissan Agency a call at 217-773-3397. Go Hornets! Back with you on BC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more. Steve Surratt, Lisa Surratt, back with you on the broadcast, about ready for the um, dot transportation starting lineups. Looking for a full or a part-time driving job? Touch or no touch freight, local or regional? Want to learn more about the jobs available? Apply today at driveforDTI.com. That's driveforDTI.com. Lisa, you got the starters over there? You want to give those? I do. For uh, Pleasant Hill, it will be Peyton Camp. He will be on... Uh, right field, you have Jaron Lawson. He will be behind the plate. Tyler Van Dyke will be in left field. Bowman Taylor will be on second. Mason Smith will be in short. Caleb Friesmeyer will be in center. Aaron Vincent will be covering third. And Bing Lowe will be on first. The designated hitter for them is Brady Lowe. And the pitcher of the day for them will be Gavin Crowder. Brown County side of things. It's kind of our normal lineup here. Colin Dieterly will be on first. Mavic Henry will be in short. Thomas, or I'm going to, we were talking Thomas Boylan, so I'm going to give Thomas credit here. Oh, good. Sorry about that. Um, Matt Boylan will be pitching for us today. Bad Rabarchek will be on third. Meyer Max will be, will be on second. That is a change up there. Bus will be behind the plate. Dylan Rice will be the designated hitter. 
Sefton will be in center field. Cassie will be in left, and Staten will be in right. Maxwell's at second base because Boylan's on the mound today. Got that. See, I yep. I don't get to watch these guys all the time, so I all of a sudden I'm like, ah, oh, that makes sense to me. All right, they're meeting with the umpires at home plate. You're listening to the Scranton Heating and Cooling pregame show brought to you by the Comfort Man at Scranton Heating and Cooling, 217-773-2626. And the starters brought to you today by DriveFor.com. Go to DriveForDTI.com. DriveForDTI.com. With that, we'll take another quick station break. We'll be back after these messages. When you are ready to move to a new home or refinance the one you are in, Farmer State Bank and Trust Company in Mount Sterling will make sure the process moves along smoothly with competitive rates, superior service, and great solutions that fit your lifestyle and budget. Call us today and get everything you need to get moving. Farmer State Bank and Trust Company of Mount Sterling. Locally owned, locally operated, locally dedicated. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When I started at DOT, I realized I could make a career out of this. It's just amazing the people you get to interact with when you get here. It's a family atmosphere for me. One of my main jobs is talking to people, trying to understand what's going on, uh, where they're at in life, what, what they're needing from me to get their job done. I've met so many people, and uh, it's been a real blessing to be a part of all that. Big company in a small town, that's a fact. When my life needed growth, I chose DOT, and I never left. Just like a coach preparing their team for the new season, Doug and Darren Henry, your ASE certified technicians at Henry Automotive, want to make sure your vehicle is ready for whatever season is ahead. Henry Automotive provides dealership quality auto repair and service at hometown prices. Henry Automotive is located 1157 690th East Street in Mount Sterling. Just turn north at the KC Hall onto Damon Road, drive 1.8 miles and look for the big blue and yellow sign or call Henry Automotive at 773 90 66. Hey, this is Lance Grady with L. Grady Realty, Brown County's premier residential and commercial real estate brokerage. If you're in the market to buy, sell, or rent, we would love to work with you. You can check us out on the internet at www.lgradyrealty.com, find us on Facebook, or call or text me personally anytime at 217-491-0812. L. Grady Realty, local brokers, local office, local expertise. We are Brown County's leading residential real estate brokerage. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more. I'm hoping the game changer will be up on here. If not, I'll be in a whole lot more hurt than normal. I just that... seen on Facebook where Hawkins has resigned as a QU basketball coach. Really? Yeah, that's a major change there. Two seasons. All right. We'll go back to the Pleasant Hill Wolves and see if they have it live. I'm not seeing it. I had a game changer pop up on mine, but can't say I've looked for it yet. Yeah. Mine is what is today? The today is the 15th. Your taxes are due today. Oh, well, wow. Even though ours has been done for a while because we have done insurance, which is one of our good advertisers. Yes, it is. A lot of good tax people out there to get it done, but we... Uh, we get ours done at Dunn Accounting. And so, well, there we go. It says live, zero, zero. Okay, if you have it, I can draw you up a picture real quick. All right. First batter is going to be Colin Dieterly. He'll step to the plate to start things out here. First three, four, Bryan County will be Dieterly, Henry Boylan, brought to you by YN Agency. You can find them at 111 West Washington in Mount Sterling. 773-3397. Jack Buss already started today. We, <laughs> yeah. we got a full frontal view of him, an open dugout as we're facing that. I miss that when I'm doing the girls. And Pop up into the right side. That's going to be fouling out of play for Dieterly. Girls game got canceled today due to illness because unfortunately the girls don't have a lot of um, extras on the bench, so they didn't have enough to play today. All right. 
I'm still trying to find a game on Game Changer. Hopefully we'll get it. Wind in the pitch. Dearly ducked out of the way for that one, so it's a 1-1 one -one count. Yeah, because we've got to stay up on it, because right now the board's not working either. Yep. All right. I don't think we're going to... We'll wait and see if Brown County starts up here after a little while, but right now it's not working. Next pitch. Popped up foul. One ball, two strikes is the count. Next pitch. Not I'll have to get a piece of paper because, uh, or I can use your starter sheets, I guess, that they gave you, but theirs is on the phone. Outside. Ball. Hey, we've got her. How to make it 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes. Crowder, the pitcher. Lawson, his battery mate, behind the plate. Next pitch about ready to come here. He works out of the stretch. Here's the pitch. Strike three call. Dieterly strikes out. Looking. And I think he saw that right. You can tell as he as he walked away that it was just like, ooh, it was there. That's got to make Crowder feel pretty, pretty good. That'll bring up the second place hitter, Maverick Henry. Maverick at shortstop today. His normal place unless he's pitching. Here's the wind in the pitch. Ground ball back up the middle past the second baseman. That's going to be a base hit. As Henry gets a base hit, that'll bring him Matt Boylan with a runner on first base, one out. Crowder with the stretch. And here comes the pitch. Henry takes off, high pitch, throw down a second, late, Henry with a stolen base. One out, Henry down at second base, that was ball one to Boylan. Here's the stretch, and the pitch, there goes Henry down to second base, or third base, stole that base. And he's coming home. And instead. the ball gets passed, and that's going to be, I, would you get the air on the third baseman? Could you see the throw there at all? It would be questionable. Okay, we'll give the error on the catcher, E2. But he got two stolen bases and came home on the air. And that makes it one to nothing. I guess I better work on my scoreboard here. Crowder looks in. Boylan with a one, one count. Here's the next pitch. Ball outside makes it 2-1. Two balls, one strike. Beautiful day to be out watching a baseball game today, Lisa. It is beautiful. The wind's not blowing up a storm. The temperature's great. Strike called. That'll make it 2 2. Two balls, two strikes. Gives Thomas a good idea what the um, umpire is going to be calling when he gets out there for the mound. The stretch by Crowder. Here's the pitch. Popped up foul. Keeps count 2 2. Stretch by Crowder. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. High. Ball three. Makes it full count. Full 
Full count on Matt Boylan, one to nothing, Brown County. Stretch. Here's the pitch. Curve ball, he takes it right, right side foul. Here's the stretch. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two strikeouts for Crowder in this contest. That'll bring up the number four hitter, uh, Vlad Rabarchek. What's his batting average, Lisa? He's a 333. With about 15 RBIs, it looks like there, and a home run. A uh, home run happened last Thursday. Two outs, one to nothing Brown County. Here's the pitch. Ball outside. One ball, no strikes, two outs to the batter. Rebarchek. Stretch by. Pitcher, here it comes. Outside for a ball, that'll make it 2 0. Maxwell's on deck. He's hoping to get up, follow up in a check here. Crowder with the stretch. Here's the pitch. Ball outside, makes it 3 0. Three balls, no strikes. Here comes the 3-0 pitch from Crowder. Popped up foul, makes the 3 one 3-1, Crowder gets a signal from Larson, the catcher. Lawson, excuse me. Here's the pitch. Popped up foul. That'll make it a full count. 3-2 count, two outs, nobody on base. Brown County leads one to nothing on the cast communication scoreboard. And it's Brady behind the plate because there are two lows. Well, they got Jay here. Oh, uh, well. Lawson, Lawson's behind the plate for what they're showing here. Oh, you know what? I am going to take my error on that one. It's because I looked at his um, number, not his position number. Here's the stretch. And a 3-2 pitch. Pop foul. He's trying to knock your camera. Trying to, but it ain't working. Brand new fence here, so it's a pretty stiff fence. Here comes the 3 2 pitch. Ball four, take his base. Got to put Ravarchek on first and bring up Maxwell. Meyer Maxwell, the batter, playing second base today. What's his batting average? Meyer has got a 214. 214 batting average, eight RBIs, and the better one, he's been hit five times. Okay. Here's the pitch coming. Rebarchek with about a seven foot lead. They check him back, and he's back in time. Archek shortens his lead up just a little bit, and now he'll stretch it back out. 
He got back in there pretty handily. Stretch. There he goes. Throw down to second base. Going to be wide. He's in there in time. Stolen base for Vlad Rabarczyk. And a strike call behind the plate. So it'll be one strike. On the batter, Maxwell. The stretch and the pitch. Ball outside. Goes back. Grabarczyk stays at second base. Short screen back here, Lisa. Uh, probably what? I'm going to say 8, 12 maximum Eight to behind 12. the home plate. Not more than about seven or eight, seven feet behind the umpire. Here comes the one-one pitch. Ball outside makes it two-one. Rabarczyk's going to third to throw down to third. Is should be in. No, he's in there under the tag. Woo! You, you don't have to watch them. The ones at third. The umpires. I can't quite see it where we're at. Two balls, one strike to Meyer Maxwell, runner at third base. He's got a duck on the pond here. Brown County could go up two to nothing. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Fouled off straight back. He got all pole on that one. That ball's got a flat side on it. That'll make it a 2-2 count. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bus is on deck when partially dressed to catch. He'll strip down quickly. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Popped up right side. That's in short right field. The second baseman, Smith, has that and gathers it in for the third out. So at the end of a half inning of play, Brown County leads one to nothing on the Cast Communication scoreboard. We'll be back. Main Street Repair and Terry Ham have the reputation of being the best at front-end alignments in the area. With 20 years of experience, Terry is the person that customers and auto repair professionals refer their friends and customers to. But alignments are not the only thing that they do at the Main Street Repair. They repair steering and suspension issues, install leveling and lift kits, repair and replace brakes and tires, do oil changes, as well as minor engine and miscellaneous repairs. Main Street Repair at 216 West Main Street in Mount Sterling. Call for your appointment today at 217-773-3848. Once again, that's 217-773-3848. 3848. This is Tracy Hendricker with the Hendricker Funeral Home in Mount Sterling. For the past 50 years, our family has committed to providing the finest facilities and compassionate services to our community. We pledge to continue to assist the families we serve as though they were our own. We also want to wish the best of luck to all those competing on the playing field or striving for excellence in the classroom. You all make Hornet Nation so very proud. And remember, go Hornets! When it comes to your money, local is better. Farmers National Bank of Griggsville is here in the heart of the community. Working where we live, we make sensible loans to our friends and neighbors so that we can help our community grow. Stop by and see our friendly staff and see what we can do to meet your financial goals. Located in Griggsville, Pittsfield, and Mount Sterling. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports as we head to the bottom of the first. It's Brown County 1 in Pleasant Hill, Western coming to bat as uh, Brown County leads this contest as Maverick Henry got the one run on one hit, one air, and there was one left on third. Rebarcheck left on third as Henry got the base hit, stole second, stole third, came home on the bad throw to third base. And so with that, we get ready to start this bottom of the second inning. I'm going to see who they gave the error on. Well, your top uh, three batters for the Wolves will be Camp, Lawson, and Van Dyne. The Pleasant Hill scorer gave him a stolen base to home, and that's not correct. 
I'm not the official scorer, but it is what it is. Throw down to second base. We'll get ready. As I said, Camp Lawson Van Dyne, and it will be brought to you by YN Agency. Find them at 111 West Washington. Now it's Sterling, 217-773-3397. Here's the first pitch. Strike one called. Fouled off for strike two. There we go. Camp? Is it Camp batting? Yes. Okay. That's who should be batting. Let's put it that way. 0-2 pitch. Here it comes. Ball just outside. One and two. I like this officially. You can hear the count, too. Yeah. He can probably hear us, too. <laughs> Here's the wind in the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. First strikeout for Boylan. And the next batter, and what's his batting average? 500, and it would be Jaron Lawson. And he is the catcher for them, and he's got five RBIs for him. Lawson the batter. Here's the pitch. Strike called on the outside corner. The wind, here's the pitch. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Boylan steps on, working quickly here. Here's the wind in the pitch. Popped up, fouling out of play. Keeps it at 0-2 count. Boylan set. Lawson set. Here's the wind. Here's the pitch. Ball outside. One ball, two strikes. And part of the reason why he's giving it out, there's no scoreboard to tell people yep, what it is. That's true. Here's the wind, the pitch. Ball outside, just outside. 2-2. Two, two. Two balls, two strikes to the batter loss, and here's the pitch. Popped into center field. There's Jack Sefton with the catch. Center fielder makes a catch for the second out in this inning. Next batter and batting average, Lisa. It would be Tyler Van Dyne. Van Dyne, 353, three RBIs. And he's playing left today. Here's the pitch. Strike called outside corner. Here's the wind, the pitch. Change up, fouled it off, strike two. How many pitches is it showing for Maddie? Mm, that should be about 12. Okay, that's what I've got here. Of those 12, three have been balls, and the rest have all been strikes. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Ooh. Called that one outside. I thought it was just a hair low. Just a hair. <laughs> Your hair doesn't count in this game, though. Here's the 1-2 pitch. Strike three called. Second strikeout for Boylan. Both pitchers with two strikeouts apiece. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody on left. On bases, we head to the top of the second. It's Brown County 1 and Pleasant Hill nothing. We'll be back. Maintaining your lawn can be a never-ending battle, but Bemis Lawn Service with their state-of-the-art equipment and skilled team of lawn experts are ready to take on any job you need completed for your lawn, such as lawn maintenance, fertilization, turf weed control, grub control, driveway weed control, overseeding, and shrub trimming. Call Aaron at 217-653-0198 or Scott at 217-653-0197. Bemis Lawn Service, they've got an eye for all things green. Go Hornets! 
Cassing Lumber Company in Mount Sterling is celebrating 50 years in business. We are your one-stop shop for all the supplies you need for your next home improvement project. Top quality lumber, building materials, and paint will give your home the freshness it deserves. We also offer a unique gift shop with new items every season for your home decor. Come visit us in Mount Sterling and always think Cassing Lumber. We'll all be glad you did. In Brown County, you know how much it means to have neighbors you can count on. Like the one who mowed your lawn and trimmed that week you were sick? Well, here's another good neighbor you can count on. State Farm Agent Carolyn Wright. Carolyn and her team are here to help life go right when you combine your home and auto insurance, which can save you money and time. So combine home and auto and start the savings rolling. Call State Farm Agent Carolyn Wright at 217-773-4170 today. KLC Inc. They are an apparel shop that specializes in screen printing, embroidery, custom and team apparel, promotional products, fundraising items, home decor, and personalization of almost anything. They strive to make the customer number one and get the customer the professional results that they are looking for. KLC Inc. at 509 Pittsfield Road or call them at 217-773-9090. KLC Inc. You think it, we ink it. Okay, Lisa, back with you on BC Hornet Sports. One to nothing, Brown County, as we head to the top of the second inning. Who's our first three? Brought to you by Yingling Innocent Agency, 111 West Washington in Mount Sterling. It would be Bus, followed by Race, followed by Sefton. All right. Bus is batting average and so forth. Bus is going for 238, and he's got eight RBIs. And he's also been Him that and Maxwell have been, been hit. hit five times apiece, and I know that buses, at least three of those, are in the head. Good thing they wear good helmets. Yeah. And here comes the pitch from Crowder. Strike one. Or they'd be having concussion protocol just like football. They probably do have, but less likely. Yeah, my game changers. There we go. Crowder's got 25 pitches. Time called by Bus. 25 for him because I said 26 I... 26 now. I did not keep track of him. No balls, one strike to Jack Bus, the catcher. Stretch by Crowder. Here's the pitch. Strike called right down central. O2. Here's the stretch. And the pitch. Popped up. That's going to be in short center field. Shortstop's going to, nope, going to end up in the infield. Shortstop makes the catch. Ian Taylor. And that'll bring up Dylan Chili Dog Rice. Got some stuff on him. He's got a 400 batting average. And he's been on the rise. He's had a hot bat. He has had some good hits just a few times I've been watching him. There's the stretch from Crowder. Nobody on base. One out. And it's got Sefton up here. So it's a game changer. He's DHing. Yeah, I know, but he's not DHing for Sefton. Ah. Must be for Staten. Or Cassing. Who knows? We'll soon Yeah, for Staten. I know he's batting for Staten, but uh, they've got the wrong order up here. Ball inside to the Chili Dog. Right. Here's the stretch. Here's the pitch. Ball outside. Three zero count. Three balls, no strikes. A stretch by Crowder. And the pitch. 
Ball outside, ball four. Rice will trot down to first base on the walk. That'll bring up Jack Sefton. Jack has got 278. They finally got it right in Game Changer. It takes a little bit. Jack Sefton steps in. What's his stats, Lisa? 278. Stretch by Crowder. Rice at first. Decent lead. Gets back standing up. Got about a five foot lead. Time called by the batter. Pitcher was taking too long. Best thing you can do, he's trying to make you uncomfortable in the box, so you need to step out on him, throw his timing off. The pitch. Sefton hits it to the right side, foul and out of play. Here we are in Pleasant Hill, Pleasant Hill Western and Brown County Baseball today. The girls game was called because we didn't have enough players today due to illness, injury, and things. That happens when you only have 12 ball players. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Fouled back. That shook everybody's vision at home. That keeps it 0-2. 0 2 pitch coming. Rice with a little bigger lead down there at first. He's out at about six feet. There he goes, stealing low throw. Throw down. The chili dog steals a base. Good job, chili dog. One ball, two strikes. Second baseman, uh, Taylor's going to try to hold Rice close. He's got about an eight, nine-foot lead out there, at least eight. He, second baseman moved in closer. Okay, I'll back away. Outside for a ball. That'll make it 2-2. Two -two. Crowder working out of the stretch. Rice at second, eight foot lead. Taylor holding him close. Here's the pitch. Popped up, right side, first baseman. That's going to be low. He's rushing in. Can't make it. Foul ball as the wind apparently blew that ball back in. Took it just a little bit. That'll keep the count 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes. Here's the stretch. And the pitch. Ball. Full count. Runner at second base. And we have got one out. Here's a stretch by Crowder. And the pitch. Ball high. That'll bring up Wyatt Cassing, the ninth place hitter. Timeout called. With that timeout, we'll take a break also. Brown County leads 1 0, to top of the second inning. All About Dance and More LLC is celebrating Season 17 by providing more ways for students to perform, learn choreography, and grow bold relationships together. All classes highlight traditional dance techniques, age appropriate terms, and unique choreography. 
Come explore the magic of AADM with recreational classes and competitive team options. Wishing all BC Hornets luck this year. All about dance and more .com. A collision with your vehicle can be stressful on its own. You don't need more stress dealing with the Auto Body Shop. Mowen Auto Body and owners Chuck and Brandy Mowen can help take the stress out of the process. Chuck brings over 24 years in the Auto Body business and is iCar certified. Mowen Auto Body, 149 Main Street, Mount Sterling, Illinois. Call 217-773-2127. Mowen Auto Body, the quality of yesterday with the knowledge of today, the right choice in collision repair. Back with you here in Pleasant Hill, Brown County up one to nothing over Pleasant Hill Western. Here in baseball action again, the girls' game called today due to Brown County not having enough players. So we've got baseball for you today, and storms moving in tomorrow. We may not have ball for you tomorrow. We're going to try to be a triopia and bring you a couple of ball games tomorrow. Depends on the weather. Crowder pitches to Cassing, strike one. Passing bats from the left hand side, his batting average. He is a 250. Here's the stretch by Crowder. Got one out. Foul ball to the left side. Out of play. Two strikes. Septon's got a, it did have a good lead off of. Um, first base too he's ready for it I would imagine just based on vision here that uh, got a few viewers out in the corn or planting corner beans today here's the pitch ball high they are we safety is getting those crops in hopefully ahead of the rain no well, Bob then... casting probably there and Brad casting probably out there with rain tomorrow, and it looks like A.J. may not be there today. We may have all three of the castings at least. May have some others. Strike three called. And that puts casting down, and that'll be the second out. That'll bring up Colin Dieterle, the first place hitter. He got called out on strikes his first time up. And Lisa, be... what's the stats on him? I know we didn't give those the first inning. And that would be the third strikeout for the pitcher. Uh, Colin is a 406 hitter and he has had 12 RBIs. He's got nine stolen bases and he's been hit six times. Timeout called as the pitcher took a little too long for him. So 406 batter here. Sefton at first. Rice at second. Two outs. Dieterle the leadoff hitter up. Couple of RBI opportunities here. Here's the pitch from Crowder. Ball. you're listening to us out there, send me a text, 217-740-9234, uh, 217-740-9234. 217 Line drive into left center field. That is out of here, folks, a three-run dinger. Yes, there it is. Add three RBIs onto that total for Colin Dieterle. That puts him almost to the 20 mark, doesn't it? That will put him at 15. Okay. 15 on the dinger, and i got to go ding, ding, ding on the scoreboard. Makes that ca uh, cast communication scoreboard read for nothing. And that's Colin's first home run of the year. Excellent. Which I'm surprised about. Bringing up Mab Henry. He's got a 347 hitter with 14 RBIs, and he has a homer on. Four to nothing, Brown County. Top of the second inning, two outs. He did that with two outs. Crowder looks in. Maverick Henry, he got the first hit of the ball game for Brown County and stole two bases and came home on an errant throw to third, trying to get him at third. First pitch to him is ball. Here's a stretch in the next pitch. Outside, ball two.
Two balls, no strikes to the batter, Henry. Here's the stretch in the pitch. Swing, strike one, two, one. And I'm pretty sure Mike's picking up Jack Bus today. I always wonder about that. I can hear him in my headset, so if you guys at home can hear it, you're getting some of the ambiance of what we get when we're doing a ball game. The only time it's quiet in that dugout is when he's on deck or batting or behind the plate. That's a ball, makes it 3-1. It makes my throat hurt. Best scene, and we didn't have a take a picture of it, was uh, we were in Astoria this last week, and he had a nice ledge to sit on and perch on and run his mouth. Here's the stretch. 3-1 pitch. Ball four. Henry's going to go to first. Is that two or three walks for him, Lisa? Um, it would be his third. In this, and actually, they've all been on this. This inning. This inning, yeah. Two outs, four to nothing. Brown County brings up Matt Boylan, the third place hitter, or Barcheck on deck. Here's the pitch. There goes Henry. Throw down. Late Henry's in there with another stolen base. That's three for him on the day. Come on, Matty. Help your Henry own with a healthy lead down a real second healthy. step He's off. Like, maybe I better go back. Makes a pitcher step off on him, and he just pops right back out there. Taylor's going to try to hold him close. Shortstop even going to try to help out on that, but that gives gaps on both sides for Henry. Timeout for Boylan. There's a lot of, lot of uh, mind games going on right now. That's what I was just going to. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing in my head. A mind game. Taylor, about Two foot off the bag, on the bag. Henry with a healthy lead. Drive. That looks like it might get out of here. It's back nope. deep and yes. out. Home run, Matt Boylan. I believe that's his first home run. You didn't give me any, so I'm going to say it. It's two that run. Is, uh, and two RBIs. Two run dinger. Hit it right out the same, just about the same spot. Dieterly hit his out. That makes it six to nothing on that cast communication scoreboard. Brings up Rebarchek. He's got a home run on the air. He'd like to join this club. And the uh, umpire says I need some balls, though, because uh, nobody has returned any. All right, now we got fresh balls, Lisa. And Rabarchuk is up to the plate. Batting 333, 15 RBIs, and he had his homer last week. He actually was stranded. He was a base on balls the last time and stranded. Popped up foul. The worst thing you can do as a hitter right now is try to hit that home run. If you look at both Dieterle's and Boylan's, they just made solid contact. On the barrel of the bat, put it out of here. Just take a breath, make contact. Two outs, six another ball game. Here's the pitch. Foul that one off, 0-2. O2 2 to Rivarchek with two outs. Nobody on the bases because they've been cleaned out by Matty Boylan. Popped up foul, stays alive. And I, I would imagine, Lisa, we got the Boylan clan out there in the field also. That is a good possibility. Either out in the field or out making some deliveries with that B 
being in trucking. And I would say the rebar checks are watching from work or from home. Several people we've probably got out there. Again, text me if you're watching or listening. 217-740-9234. Takes it out. Can of so corn. Well. High as a silo. And caught by the left fielder. That'll be the third out. We'll give you the ending stats after these messages. Central Illinois Home Inspection, the first name you should think of when buying a new home. Specializing in general home inspections, mold inspections, termite inspections, sewer scopes, radon testing, and drone photography. And serving the surrounding area since 2009, licensed and insured. Give them a call today at 217-622-6788. That's 217-622-6788. The Mount Sterling Savings Center, a customer-owned savings bank offering online banking from your computer or mobile phone, allowing you access to your account on your schedule. The Mount Sterling Savings Center is a proud supporter of Brown County Athletics. Mount Sterling Savings Center, conveniently located at 201 West Main, the intersections of Routes 24 and 99, is a branch of the Beardstown Savings located at 301 South Main. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. When it comes to becoming a better version of you, there's no place to start like the Y. The Mount Sterling Community Center YMCA offers activities for the whole family. From youth sports to summer day camp, we have something for all ages. Kickstart your new healthy routine with our group exercise classes or work out in our fitness center, complete with a full line of cardio and weight equipment. Our indoor rubberized track is perfect for both running and walking, while our full-size gymnasium offers space for pickup basketball games and volleyball leagues. On-site childcare is available while you work out for children as young as six weeks. We hope you'll join us at the Mount Sterling YMCA. Your future self and family will thank you. Taylor Smith. And Back with you on BC Hornet Sports. The end of the inning, five runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left on base. Top three, Lisa, brought to you by Yingling Innocent Agency. It will be Taylor, Smith, and Friesmeyer. First pitch to Taylor, ball in the dirt. Nice stop by Jack Buss. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike. Boylan with how many strikeouts today? Um, he has had two. Pitch. Two Swing and a miss. One and two. Here's the wind, the pitch. Inside for a ball. 2-2. Two, two. I'd have to check, but I don't think the fence was that high when I was here the last time. The new fence, I think, is higher in right field, Lisa. Ah. Here's the pitch. You're talking every bit of 16-foot uh, tall out there. Here's the wind and the 2-2 pitch. Ball, four. That was 3-2. That's a walk for Boylan. That will be his first walk. And that brings up uh, Mason Smith. And what's his batting average? 312. I'm going to lie to you. That was who was just up. 267. Stretch by Boylan. Low pitch. Taylor being held on by Dieterle at first. He's got about a four to five. Stretches out a little bit to six. Strike. One, one. One ball, one strike. Here's the one, one pitch. Swing and a miss. One, two. Here's the one-two pitch from Boylan. Ground ball back to Boylan. 
He'll go to first, get the first out. Runner moves down to second, and Taylor Fielder's choice on that. Moves the runner over. And that brings up the next batter, Lisa, who is? Friesmeyer. That average? 125. Friesmeyer, the batter with one out. Here's the pitch. Ball low. How many pitches you got on him? Uh, 25. Okay, I'm still up to par. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Ball outside, 0-2, or 2-0. Strike called on the pitch. Makes it two balls, one strike. Uh, we got some messages here from people out there watching. Swing and strike. 2-2. Two -two. Trey's grandma, um, Lynn in center, Illinois, out there watching us. Mr. Rebarchek, or the Rebarcheks watching from home, it looks like. That's a ball. That'll make it 3 2. AJ Casting tuned in just in time for a home run. You know, the uh, Rebarcheks were appreciated. Is, uh, I think they're working. Swing and strike out. That'd be number three for Boylan, right? That is a correct statement, and out number two for the inning. Next batter is? Vincent. Taylor down at second base on the fielder's choice. We got two outs now. Vincent, the batter. Boylan out of stretch. Here's the pitch. Outside for a ball. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Strike called. 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike, two outs. Pitch, strike two. One ball, two strikes. Here's the one, two. Taylor with the lead down at second in the pitch. Popped up, foul out of play. That'll keep it one, two. One, two, pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Henry gets it, bobbles it. Throws to first, makes the out. Woo! Stayed with that, 6-3, and gets Vincent out at first base. So with that, no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on base. As we head to the top of the third, it's Brown County 6 and Pleasant Hill nothing. We'll be back. Arusa Garden ships home and garden accents coast to coast, right from its location in Mount Sterling. The folks there customize each sale by painting unique and vintage colors to match the look of the home or flower garden. They also do wrought iron fencing. How long does that last? 100 years? 200 years? Who knows how long wrought iron fencing will last? Shop www.arusticgarden.com and get it shipped directly to your front door. 
Have you ever thought about opening the door to a new truck driving career? If so, BNN Trucking is looking for you. At BNN Trucking, we offer competitive pay, health care, 401k, paid vacation, and holiday pay. BNN Trucking is currently looking for over the road, regional, and home every night delivery specialists. BNN Trucking runs the latest in modern equipment. For full details, please visit BNNTrucking.net or call 217 289 3555. Hi, I'm Heather Henry, owner and instructor at Heather's Tumble and Tap in Mount Sterling, where we have been teaching dance to the children of Brown County and the surrounding areas since 1995. We offer classes in tap, jazz, palm, tumbling, and offer an all-boys tumbling class for all those future Hornet athletes. At Heather's Tumble and Tap, we focus on fun, friends, and the fundamentals of dance in a non-competitive atmosphere. Follow us on Facebook to stay up to date on upcoming classes and events. Go Hornets! Back with you on BC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more. And what's the more? Not windows. <laughs> Our first three batters will Scholastic be... Scholastic Bowl. That's right. And other stuff. Maxwell, followed by Bus, followed by Rice. Brought to you by YN Agency. Find them at 111 West Washington, 773-3397. Or YN Agency and Agency on the net. Strike one. Game changer just a little slow up here today. Crowder in. He's got 50, about 58 pitches, I think. Outside ball, 1-1. One, one. Or is it 2-0? Oh? I have a 1-1 one, one on him. First one was a strike. I think it's one ball, one strike. I could be wrong. Here's the pitch. Popped up foul. Well, that should make it one. Nope, two and one. Yep, that's what two I got. Two balls, one strike. Two balls, one strike. Brent County up six to nothing on that cast communication scoreboard. Stretched by Crowder. Here's the pitch. Hi. 3 1. Here's the 3 1 pitch. Strike called. Full count. Crowder looks in, like to get the out here. Here comes the 3 2 pitch. Outside for a ball. That'll put Maxwell down to first base and bring up Jack Buss. Should have known. It was quiet. Quieter. Jack popped up in the second two shortstop. Here's the stretch. There goes Maxwell, fouled that one off. Maxwell get to go back and retrace his steps now. Jack got a 238 average. He's had eight RBIs. The stretch. Jack's a runner first, back standing up is Maxwell. So reality, your your uh, batting average changes inst every time you bat. So mm -hmm. it's all old news. Right. Throw over to first again. Trying to keep Maxwell close. He gets about a five-foot lead. He'll stretch that out to seven feet or so. Here in a second. Time called by Bus. Just one strike on Bus. Found that first pitch off. Maxwell had that base stolen. 
Here's the stretch. The pitch. There goes Maxwell. The throw. Late. Stolen base for Maxwell. Almost hit, Bus. I was going to say, Jack pulled his hip in. Otherwise, he'd have been hit again. One ball, one strike. Here's the stretch by Crowder. And the pitch. Maxwell fakes going to third. I don't make it one or two. He went hard like he was going. Yes, he did. And that's to throw the catcher off more than anything because the catcher can see that. People will talk. Maybe put some people out of position. 1-2 pitch coming. Outside for a ball. That would have been a good pitch to steal on. And he kind of stopped a little short. Otherwise, he'd have gone. Two two. Stretch. Here's the two two pitch. Popped up. Bus got a load of that one, but the left fielder Van Dyke Dine's got that. Maxwell and they missed the ball at third as he tagged to come. And he was gonna be dead. And uh the Third baseman missed the ball. Looked up where he was before the ball got there. Pop up to the left fielder. That moves the runner to third base. Nobody out. Brings up Dylan Rice with a runner at third. One out. Here is the stretch. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. He was a base on balls in the second and stole the base and ended up being one of the runs scored. Off of Dieter Lee's home run. Here's the pitch. Strike called. 0-2. A little low. A little low, a little outside. From your angle. Yep. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Got one out. Runner at third. Ball high. It was up around the shoulders. One ball, two strikes. As we were talking with a soccer official last night, interesting, you know, um, different calls, different areas. Here's the pitch. Ball, low, 2-2. Two, two. Two, two pitch. Oh, getting ready to come. Maxwell down at third. One out. Swing and a miss. Shelly Doug strikes out. Rice strikes out. That'll bring up Jack Buss. What's he done today, Lisa? Jack was a base on balls and was also one of the runs that got scored off of Dieterle. He comes up with two outs, runner at third base, an RBI opportunity here for Buss. Or I mean for uh, Sefton. And that's Crowder's third strikeout. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Popped up right field, or right side, out of play. And they have to retrieve some baseballs again. They've been hitting several of them out. Go to the count. Two outs. Runner at third base. We're at the top of the third inning. 
Brown County leads six to nothing. On a couple of home runs by Dieterle and Boylan. The stretch. The pitch. Ball high. One ball, two strikes. Stretch, and here comes the one-two pitch. Ball outside, two-two. Two balls, two strikes, the stretch, the pitch. Ball high and inside, 3-2. Had two strikes on him, he's thrown three, three straight balls here. Got to come in with it. Full count, runner at third, two outs. The pitch, swing and a miss. Strikeout number four. And with that, no runs on... No hits, no errors, and one left on base. As we head to the bottom half of the third, it's Brown County 6 and Pleasant Hill nothing. The Brown County Animal Rescue is a foster-based rescue in Mount Sterling, Illinois. We have multiple families in the community who step forward and take care of our animals for us until we can find the permanent home that's perfect for them. We have multiple community programs, including a trap neuter release program, low cost span neuter transport, foster and adoption programs, as well as our blessing box. Brown County Animal Rescue is here to support our community and improve animal welfare. Learn more at bcanimalrescue.com. Looking for a place to gather? Meet me at the library. Need free access to computers and Wi-Fi? Meet me at the library. What about a resource for schools and students? Meet me at the library. How about a space designed just for kids? Meet, Meet me at the library. Where can all of Brown County go for books, history, entertainment, and community? Well, meet me at the library. Meet me at the library. Meet me at the library. The Joel Oliver Memorial Pool needs an update because if we don't, in five or 10 years, it won't be here. I got involved with the pool when I was eight years old and I went door to door asking for donations to help build the pool. Now I get to bring my daughter here. It's just awesome to be able to have that. 30 plus years ago, the community came together to build what we have today and we would really like to keep that going for another 30 years for the next generation to enjoy. First pitch, a ball. As we head to the bottom half of the third inning, it's six to nothing, Brown County. Boylan with his uh, third inning of work. He's out there at about 38 pitches now, 1-1. One, one. The wind, the pitch. Ground ball right back to him. He gets it, throws it over to Dieterle, and that's the first out of the inning. Brady Lowe coming up. What did he do the last time, Lisa? Or? This is the first time being up. Okay, so they haven't got his. They is he the ninth batter? Added, yes. Strike one. Here's the wine, the pitch. Strike two. O2 pitch. I look for him to come right after him. Fouled off. Keeps count 0-2. Ninth place hitter. He's batting average not very high if he's got one. Yeah, it's just a .091. And so you need to just go after it. Don't waste pitches here. Wind in the pitch. Strike called. Got him. Strike three. That'll be about four strikeouts for Matt Boylan. 
That'll bring up the top of the order. If he can get this out, he will have faced one more than the minimum that he could have faced. Had a walk. That's the chink in the armor right there. Two outs. The batter is... Camp. Camp, Peyton Camp. And he struck out the first in the first inning. Here's the pitch. Ball hit into center field. Jack Sefton over, makes the catch. No runs, no hits, no errors. Brown County leads 6-0 as we head to the top of the fourth. It's Brown County. We'll be back. Mount Sterling Foods offers our community the selection, variety, and pricing found in a larger market, offering convenience and customer service second to none. Check out the daily lunch specials each day on their Facebook page, or stop by and get some of their delicious fried chicken for Sunday lunch or any meal. Weekly grocery specials can be found in the Democrat message. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., Sunday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mount Sterling Foods, 200 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling, proud sponsor of Brown County Students and Athletics. ServiceMaster Restore provides something very important to insurance carriers, and it's something no other disaster restoration company can match. It's genuine partnership. ServiceMaster Restore should be your preferred provider for several important reasons. Policyholders report higher satisfaction when the insurer recommends a restoration company. ServiceMaster Restore has the highest customer satisfaction rating among all major restoration companies. High customer satisfaction is proven to result in greater customer retention. We care. We serve. We deliver. We do the right thing. At Land Guys, we specialize in recreational property because we speak the language. We connect sellers to the next generation of buyers who share a passion for land. At Land Guys, we provide industry leading marketing while ensuring a smooth and hassle free experience. We will make you the most money for your property. If you're in the market to sell, Contact one of Illinois' top land brokers, Land Guys Toby Stay, at 217-257-6096. Back with you on BC Warner Sports as we head to the top of the fourth. It's Brown County 6 and Pleasant Hill. Nothing. As we batted through now two times with Wyatt Cassing coming up to bat. And what what he got a, he caught looking. His first time up, he leads things off, and this he's like another leadoff hitter. They just need to get him on one way or another. They don't care. Time called. Steps back in. Here's the stretch by Crowder. Here's the pitch to ball high. One ball. Dieterly on deck. The stretch. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He had everything way out in front of that one. One ball, one strike. Opened his hips early, got the bat around. Everything was ahead of the ball. Here comes the 1-1 pitch. Ball outside. Two balls, one strike. A stretch. And the pitch. Pop foul, make it a 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes. Nobody out? He'll stretch. And the pitch. Ground ball to the right side. First baseman grabs that and 
Low steps on the base and out. Bringing us back to the top of the rotation for Dieterly and Henry. He's had a got caught looking strikeout and a home run. His home run was a what three RBI that dinger? That's correct. Steps in. Here's the pitch. Outside for a ball. Stretch. And the pitch. Strike called. 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike. Crowder looks in for the 1-1 one, one pitch. Here is the pitch. Right side, foul. He reached for that one. Yeah, he was afraid that one was going to hang in there and be an outside strike. 1-2. One, Crowder up to about 87 pitches. Stretch. And the pitch. Ball. 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes. One out. Batters Dieterly. Henry on deck. And the pitch. Strike three. That'll be the second out. That'll bring up Maverick Henry. He'd been on base twice today, hadn't he? Mav has. He had a single in the first and was one of the runs scored. He had a base on balls and was uh, scored by Boylan. So he's been in for both of his times. Strike called on the outside corner. He is two of the six runs. Strike two called. O oh, two. The Wolves would like one more out right here. The pitch. Stuck his bat out. Popped it up. Foul. Here's the pitch. Ooh, nice Base one. hit into left field. And that's missed by the outfielder. He's going to end up at second. So that's going to be a base hit and an error. E7. E7 on the air. Yes, base hit and then the air. Bringing up Matt Boylan. He had a two RBI homer in the second. Stretch by Crowder. The pitch. Strike. Crowder up over a 90 pitches now at about 93 pitches. And I just looked. I had a 110 pitch limit in one okay. day. And he won't be ready to pitch for four days at least. I, he, I think he's done for the week. Call to Bach. He turned before he lost contact with the... So the runner gets to move forward. Yep. So I'm going to put a B up there for you. Got to step off the backside. Henry down to third now. Boylan would like to bring him in. And base hit will do that. Two outs. Pleasant Hill would like to get out of this inning. With as little damage as possible. 
Popped up, foul, out of play. O2 count. So the game changer is totally messed up here. O2 I don't know if it went back. Official. It's got Jack Buss up. Mm. Boiling the batter. Here's the pitch. Foul ball. Got a piece of it. Strike two. Crowder would like to get this one and not get hurt. Yep. If he can get this out, he comes out of the seating pretty clean. Mm -hmm. Here's the pitch. Foul. O2 pitch, two outs. Runner at third is Henry. Crowder looks in. He drives that one, pops it up into center field. That's going to be. Breeze Meyer, he makes the catch. No runs on one hit, one error, and one left on base as we head to the bottom half of the fourth. It's Brown County 6 in Pleasant Hill. Nothing. Larry Downing County has been serving Brown County and the surrounding area for over 40 years. Lance Pabin and his staff work with businesses, individuals, and farmers, offering tax preparation, bookkeeping, payroll, sales tax, and business consultations. Larry Down and Counting, 443 East Main Street, Mount Sterling, Illinois. Put their experience to work for you today. Call 217-773-3400. I have been interested in truck driving my whole life. I've been fascinated with the big rigs since I was a kid. But after college, I got into business on the marketing side of things, kind of shelved the dream. 30 years later, I quit my job, signed up for truck driving school. It was exciting from the get-go. Dot recruited out of my truck driving school. The job was everything I was hoping it would be, and then some. My weeks absolutely fly by. When my life needed fulfillment, I took the wheel. Culbertson Memorial Hospital is more than just an emergency center for acute illnesses and trauma. From imaging and lab services to physical, occupational, and speech therapy, our team of providers is equipped to treat a wide variety of conditions in a convenient, local setting, so getting the outpatient care you need doesn't require a long trip out of town. Get quality care from the team that knows you best at Culbertson Memorial Hospital. Learn more at hospital.com. Back with you, six to nothing, bottom of the fourth, Brown County. And it'll be Lawson, Van Dyne, and Taylor all hitless today. And uh, you're asking me a question I don't have yet. Nice hits hit. it to the right side. It's going to be foul, foul and out of play. Boylan, it's showing it to be about 46 pitches. That's exactly what I have. And of those, he's only had. 14 balls. Pretty good control today. Had the one walk. Here's the pitch. Ball in the dirt. Nice block by Buss. Next pitch. Ground ball up the middle. First base hit. Off of Boylan today. As Lawson gets the base hit. Van Dyne the batter? That is correct. Brown County would like to get a double play here. He's faced now two more than the minimum. Van Dyne was a strikeout in the first.
Checks over, back in time. About a seven foot lead over there. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. One strike, runner at first. Here's the stretch, the pitch. Fouled off, that went off the of bus's shoulder and off the umpire both. O2. Stretch. Pitch. Ground ball. Right side. Base hit. That's two base hits in a row. Right fielder gets that back in. And Staten. Two base hits in a row. Who's that bring up, Lisa? That will be bring up Bowman. Bowman Taylor. What did he do, walk his last time um, up? He was a base on balls, and it was a fielder's choice to get to second. O for O today. Two base hits in a row, though. Nobody down, popped up, foul out of play. Here's the stretch and the pitch to Taylor. Ball high, 1-1. One, one. That had some speed on it. The way it snapped into Buss's glove. The stretch. Here's the pitch. Strike. That'll make it one and two. One ball, two strikes. Runners at first and second. Pitch outside to the fence and bounces right back to Jack Buss. 2-2. Two -two. two balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Popped up, foul out of play, keeps it 2 2. Stay tuned with us for a short post game show brought to you by Mount Sterling Foods, 200 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling, 217 773 2213. Player of the ball game today be brought to you by Casting Lumber Company. Strike three, that'll be about number five for Boylan today, Casting Lumber Company. They've been around the Brown County area for over 50 years in the community. Call them at 773-2611. It brings us up. Who is up here? This would be Mason, Mason Smith. Smith. Strike called. One out. Runners at first and second. Boylan gave up his first two base hits of the ball game. Has one other runner has only been a base on balls in this contest. And the pitch. Swing, strike two. Oh, two, 2 one out. Brown County could use a double play right here. Stretching the pitch. One ball, two strikes. Stretch by Boylan. Runners with the leads. Pitch. Fouled off. Keeps it one and two. Oh, 
The stretch. The pitch. Strike three called. And they're looking. He's called that low strike since the first inning, hadn't he, Lisa? Yeah, he really has. Caleb, Caleb Friesmeyer, the center fielder. And he Two outs. Out in the second. Pitch. Strike call right down central. That was right just above the knees. Boiling with the stretch again. The pitch. Strike two. Here's the stretch by Boylan. Here's the pitch coming. Strike three. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two left on base as we head to the top of the fifth. It's Brown County six. And Pleasant Hill Western, nothing. We'll be back. Los Rancheros Restaurant in Mount Sterling is your destination for authentic Mexican food. Open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Come and enjoy their daily specials on food and drink. Having a party? Check out Los Rancheros for catering your next event or gathering. Los Rancheros Authentic Mexican Restaurant, 408 Quincy Road, Mount Sterling. Call 217-773-7800. Napa Hello, Earl Flack. For your locally owned McKay Nap Auto Parts, it's March Savings, kind of like March Madness. Stop by any McKay Nap Auto Parts store and receive a Napa Racing Hat, Chase Elliott, with a $25 purchase while supplies last. Got batteries on sale, lawn and garden. Got marine batteries on sale, golf cart batteries on sale. Napa antifreeze, $9.99 for the Napa antifreeze. Get the good stuff. Also have shell antifreeze. I got Xerox antifreeze. Get the car supplies. Get it while it's hot. Thank you for your business. ADI, located in Golden, is one of North America's largest pattern tiling installers. We've helped farmers create water management systems for over 40 years with pattern tiling across farm fields, generating proven data showing a boost in yield and greater profitability. Changing weather patterns do not have to cost you yield dollars anymore. Start with a free estimate now by calling your local ADI representative, David Lohman, at 309-280-2411 or by visiting our website at agdrainage.com. As we get ready for the top of the fifth, it'll be Rabarchek, Maxwell, and Bus for Brown County. And Crowder's still in. And his first pitch of this inning. Swing and a miss. Rabarchek chased the bad pitch outside on that one. Jack's wound for sound all oh, of a sudden. Oh, yeah. They're wanting to get that four runs and get three outs and in this contest. Crowder is up to about 97 pitches. And there's a deep one. I don't think it's going to get it. Might float. It, it does can. out of there for Rebarcha as he jumps on, gets a home run. That went above the light poles and carried out of here. Third home run for Brown County in the day. And Mama Renee is going nuts back at work. And they're going, what's going on with her? Woo-hoo, neighbor boy. That makes it seven to nothing. Well, Mom's probably off work now because it's almost 6 o'clock. Well, she's still whooping it up. No, I'm sure she is. A if she's sitting at a stoplight and she went nuts, people would think she was nuts. We, we're seeing the neighborhood go crazy on it. Okay, this brings up Meyer Maxwell. The pitch. Fouled off. What's he done today, Lisa? Meyer has popped up to short, excuse me, to second in the first, and then he had a base on balls. Stole the base and got stranded at third. The stretch. The pitch. Ground ball nice. to pass the short. the short. 
Base hit for Meyer Maxwell. Keep it as a single. I thought Smith was going to get in front of that and couldn't get to it. Just Went right past him. Brings up Jack Buss. Jack popped up to short and popped up to left. So he's due. That's <laughs> Somebody's mocking him. In I can hear it. Not quite as good, though. There goes Maxwell down and hit the batter. Make that number six on the year for Jack Buss to be hit by the ball. I think that got his elbow. At least it wasn't in the head. He's a 50-50 he's a on the hit in the head. Going to have a runner for him. Which Micah is Henry. Rice the batter. What's Chili Dog done today? I was just getting ready to say he had a base on balls and ground ball past the third baseman. Must have went foul. Nope. 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 It didn't go foul. It went off of his glove. He knocked it down. I'm going to count that as a base hit for the Chili Dog. Okay. Bases are loaded. Let's see what the scorekeeper gives. They gave him a single. Good job, Chili Dog. Who's up now? Sefton. And he's had a base on balls, and then he struck out, so he's due. Bases loaded with uh, nobody out. Brown County opportunity to open up this game wide open. Sefton fouls that one off. <laughs> Here's the stretch. The pitch. Outside, back to the screen, but Everybody as you can it. see, they got that rubber thing on there too, Lisa. That just yeah, uh, bounces it right back to the catcher. And the bases are full, so nobody could move too far. Not going to dare coming in. Two balls, one strike. 104 pitches. So it has to, and About you get six, 110, I believe, is the limit. Ball high. That'll make it 3-1. No room in the end. Not what you want to do. Stretch. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Full count. Swing a ball four. Yeah. It's what it would have appeared... Full count, nobody out. Here's the pitch. Ball low. RBI, bay, or a base on balls for Sefton. And then he Out does get an RBI for the run that came in, correct? Yep. And that's going to be it, I believe, for Crowder. They're going to the mound to talk to him. We're going to let you uh, listen to our sponsors. We'll be back after these messages. Brown County leads 8 to nothing. The Brown County State Bank is proud to support all the Brown County Hornets athletic programs. In fact, we're the only bank offering the Hornet debit card. Every time the card is used at a point of sale, a portion of the proceeds are contributed to the Brown County School. It's our part of our commitment to making them the best they can be. Contact the Brown County State Bank today to get your Hornet debit card at 773-3327. Brown County State Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Local, reliable broadband. You must be talking about CASCOM. I'm Casey French, and we provide amazing support for home and businesses. Internet, television, and phone. We have technicians in your area at all times, and you can actually talk to a local customer service representative. We know our area, and we know our customers. Get to know us. Call CASCOM today at 1-800-252-1799. CASCOM at 1-800-252-1799.
Brown County Accounting and Tax recently opened in Mount Sterling. The team brings over 30 years of experience and is ready to advise on taxes, bookkeeping, and payroll. We are ready to meet with you with no obligation to discuss your tax saving strategy and have already helped many in the area. Contact us today at 217-770-8082. We're excited to be part of the community and are looking forward to helping you. LM Concrete Construction takes pride in providing quality concrete work to Mount Sterling and the surrounding areas, specializing in flat work, sidewalks, residential, new buildings, or add-ons, commercial and decorative concrete. Call Lorenzo Martinez for all your concrete needs at 779-279-4413. That's 779-279-4413. Hi, this is Brad Cassing here in Mount Sterling at Ray Insurance Agency. Uh, I want to thank you for supporting Brown County Athletics. I'd also like to mention that uh, you probably know that we are specialists in crop insurance, uh, hail insurance, and also any farm coverages that you might need. But what you probably don't know is we have very competitive rates on homes, autos, and commercial business. So I uh, thank you for supporting Brown County Sports and uh, look forward to hearing from you. My number is 217 773 3851. When it comes to your, to your back with you on BC Hornet Sports, the Cast Communication Scoreboard, top of the fifth, Brown County leads eight to nothing. And there is nobody out. Wine casting the batter. Bases are loaded. Pitch. Strike called. New pitcher is low. Brady low. For the Pleasant Hill Wolves. Wyatt well, struck out in the second and went straight to the pitcher. Ball low, 1-1. One, one. In the fourth. Just about anything would score two here. Well, maybe. Bases are loaded. Ball outside. Two balls, one strike. Micah Henry running at third. Dylan Rice at second. Over at first, Jack Sefton. Batter is Wyatt Cassing. On deck, Colin Dieterle. Pop that one up. Foul out of play. That'll make it 2 2. Dieterly chomping at the bit to get back up because he struck out twice and he's homeward with a three-run homer. He'd like to get back up here with bases loaded. Ball high, 3-1. 3-2. Three, 3-2. Three, Ball goes past the third baseman. That's going to be an error on the third baseman. Chili Dog's going to try to score to get that tenth run. Here he comes. Hey, Save. Chili Dog! And over to third is Sefton. So that's going to be an error on the throw to third to pick off the runner. E7 on the, the, that one. And we got one run scored, two runs scored, and runner is at third. Yep. Nobody gets RBIs on that's those. What I was just going to ask. Nope. Well, that's an error. Those are all unearned runs there. Heads up play by Chili. He's guy. He's coming from second base. He had to, to hustle. Gassing now with just a runner at third base. Foul that went off. Catcher's looking tired. 2-2. Two, two. Been a long game for him. Here's the pitch. Fouls that one off. Still 3-2, umpire says. Yeah. 
Here's the stretch and the pitch. Popped up left right field. The right fielder goes back, makes the catch. That was Camp that made the catch. That's the first out. Tag up. Sefton comes in. So that's going to be an RBI for Cassing. Cassing, and it's actually a sacrifice. It's not. I wouldn't count it as an at bat because there was nobody out. Put the ball deep, which is what you do. So it'd be a so sacrifice. Just give an S for a sacrifice. S A C. If you got a room. Dieterly oh. comes up, one for three on the day, that one being a three-run home run. Ball outside. Maverick Henry on deck. 11 to nothing on that cast communication scoreboard. Stretch. The pitch. The question will be for Jared Hoots is are you going to have Boylan pitch and be out? Or are you going to... Uh, that was a little outside. Uh, or are you going to have somebody else come in so that he can come back quicker in a week? The wind the pitch in the dirt. Ouch. Is it a 2-1? Um, Outside three for sure. That's nope, that ball was four. four. That'll bring up Maverick Henry. Maverick Henry, I think, a couple of base hits and a walk, right? That is correct. And scored twice there. Got left stranded in the fourth. Uh, Bach. Yep, called. Bach called. Broke his hands. Can't do that. Moving Dieterly on over to second base then. Colin's saying, I wanted to steal second. <laughs> now you can steal third. The pitch. Strike called. Stretch by low. Here's the pitch in the dirt. Dieterly staying put. Uh, yeah, stop signs have been put out. You can steal second, but you're not stealing third. Don't need to Don't add need, injury. Yeah. Yep. Just let the batters bat, and whatever happens with the batters, ball high. Two balls, one strike, boiling on deck. Here's the pitch. There's Maverick Henry joining the crew. Bye-bye, yeah. two-run home run. It is a hitting for the boys today. So two runs. So he got an RB, two RBIs on that? Two or RBIs, yep. Because he gets counted two, correct? Yep. So Dieterly's home run, the first place hitter. Second place Henry, Henry has homered. The third place hitter, Boylan, has homered. And the fourth place hitter, Rabarchek, has homered. Boylan's up and Rabarchek's uh, going to be subbed in for, it looks like uh, Fullerton. Dice Fullerton is going to come in. Low stretches. Here's the pitch. Ball low. Thirteen to nothing on the cast communication scoreboard. Ball low. Again, stay tuned for the Mount Sterling IG, or Mount Sterling Foods post game show. Two hundred Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling. Great place to go for lunch. 
Yeah, now that your wife's home, you don't go out there as often. No, I don't. Popped up. Popped up in the infield. Lowe says he's got oh, it and drops and the drops ball. Oh, it. So is that an error or a That's an error. Hit? That's an error. Nope, Fullerton's, yep, he's just going for it. He's going to bat in and place of Rubarczyk. And it is 12 is running for Boylan. Twelve is running for Boylan. Is that Homeberry? No, that's uh, no. Linover. Linover is who I'd say. Fullerton up to bat for the first time today. Pitch ball high. And on deck is forty-four. Ball. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to tell you who 44 is because he. There's a roster. Oh, right. Oh, clear at the bottom okay. here. That one right there. The big printed one. Okay. We'll find it. Shouldn't have to pull it out too far to get to 44. Except for it's not a 44 on it. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll find out on Game Changer. So what kind of count you got here on Mr. Fuller? It looks like two balls and one strike, if I'm correct here. Pitch, ball low. Stretch. Pitch, ball high. Ball four, Fullerton takes his base. And we'll see who it is. Matter for Maxwell, they'll get that switched. I'll go over to our rosters and... And Flynn's gonna be batting for bus. Okay, team. Yep. Don't think about it too much, Brady. Forty four is Kale Jackson. Okay. Do you want to put that in there? Jackson uh, has not got a hit so far this year. Runners at first and second. Outside for a ball. 3-0 count. And un unfortunately, there's nothing an umpire can do or anybody can do to help at that point due to the fact that it's so far outside that you can't even come close to calling it a strike. And you don't want him to. There he did. Pulled it in closer, and Jackson swung in, so it's a 3-1. Low the pitcher. Runners at first and second. One out. The pitch. Follow pop up. Short stop takes that in. Smith. For the second out, that'll bring up Connor Flynn. Left-handed batter will step in. Connor pitched really good, what was it, last Thursday of last week or so? One of the games last week we did. And Connor, I wasn't Connor, at that one. I think I was on my I think own that time. was on Monday. I think that was on Monday last week. Lowe's pitch. Strike call. And the disadvantage is, is uh, if the umpire changes the strike zone and you're having a bad day because your team is up, you're going to be at it. Or if you're pinch hitting for somebody, you're coming in because this game is out of hand. Ouch, in the dirt. 
off of the catcher. Yeah, he's just, uh, he's completely wore out back there and just completely distraught. Brady low with the pitch, inside ball. As Flynn got out of that, two balls, one strike. You know, this baseball field reminds me of a Kansas song. It's just dust in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Not near as bad as the other day. Here's the pitch. Foul that one off, make it 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes, two outs. Eli Staten said, Connor, don't make an out. I want a bat today. <laughs> The stretch, the pitch, ball four, or ball three, full count. Full count. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Who Kyle nice? Flynn hits it at the left Job. field line. It's going to bounce to the fence and going to score at least one as Lynn, Lynn over comes yeah, in. Good job. Thornton goes down to third and a double for Connor Flynn. Nice pull on that one, Connor. 14 to nothing. He gets an RBI yeah, too. I say an RB on it too. Eli Staten gets the bat. That'll kill the DH, I believe. Pitch, Staten swings, strike one. On deck, Raniel Sanchez. Raniel saying, Eli, get on base. Get on I want to bat. Yes, I want to see him bat. Ball, 1-1. One, one. So if Raniel gets on, he's batting for Septon? Yes. Gotcha. Yeah, and Sefton will probably go back in. Ball outside, 2-1. Run and runners on, second and third. Here's the pitch from low, swing and a miss from Staten, 2-2. And normally, folks, we probably wouldn't have come down here for this game knowing what happened at home, but with the rain in the forecast and all the cold weather and rain we've had, we really wanted to be able to get grandmas and grandpas, moms and dads this game today. State and swings and strikes out. That'll be three outs. We'll come back with the uh, stats about that inning. Actually, I've got it right now. Okay, go we ahead. had five hits, no errors, two left on, and eight runs scored, making it a 13 game. Okay, bottom of the fifth coming up, making it 14. 14 to nothing. We'll be back. Money, local is better. Farmers National Bank of Griggsville is here in the heart of the community, working where we live. We make sensible loans to our friends and neighbors so that we can help our community grow. Stop by and see our friendly staff and see what we can do to meet your financial goals. Located in Griggsville, Pittsfield, and Mount Sterling. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Mitsubishi Ductless Systems give you individual room control and allergen filtration with no ductwork, so you can be as comfortable as you want anywhere in your home. The Comfort Man at Scranton Heating and Cooling can help you design a Mitsubishi system for your new addition, remodeling project, or man cave or she shed. Call Scranton Heating and Cooling today to come and evaluate the best option available to you. The Comfort Man, 217-773-2626 or on the web at comfortman.com. Once or twice a year, I might get the cold or a flu, and my wife calls it the man flu. So, so you know what that is. What do I love about our team? We have a good chemistry. We all work together. I mean, come on. I've got the best job in the world. Sometimes they say, oh, I like to do handstands. Yeah, I taught Brian how to do the handstand. That's all right. <laughs> and every day, I mean, it's a fun day. Yeah, it definitely makes me proud to be here.
Yingling and Nissen Insurance. Stop in and talk to one of our agents today about your insurance needs. We really appreciate the support of the community in our business for the last 40 some years. Come and see us if you have questions on, on your policy with us or if you want a quote and you're with someone else now, we'd be happy to work with you. If Yingling and Nissan Agency a call at 217-773-3397. Go Hornets! Back with you on BC Hornet Sports. Here's the pitch from Boylan. He wants to finish this thing out. He's at 65. That was pitch number 66. And if I go back to my handy dandy guide, I can tell you. Popped up, left field. Ooh. That's over Sanchez's head. As they took Sefton out of the ball game, the outfield did change. Micah Henry is in right. Cassing is in center. And Raniel Sanchez is in left. And Fullerton stayed in, played third base. So they kept a lot, a lot of, changes. of changes. Bing Lowe's up. Yeah, he can pitch 75 pitches. He'd like to be done with this before first first, 75 right. pitches is up. Brown County needs to turn a double play here. He's only had 18 balls of the 68 that he's pitched. Swing and a miss. That'll make it strike two. Here's the stretch, the pitch. Foul that off. Kept himself alive there. Dylan Workman, the batter. Aha, they've switched somebody in. Yep. I missed that. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Ooh. We both did ooh at the very same time there. One ball, two strikes. Here's the one-two pitch from Boylan. Foul that off. One ball, two strikes. He's fouled a couple of pitches off. Boylan stretches, checks the runner. Here's the pitch. Ball high, two-two. Here's the stretch, the pitch. Strike three called. It's the first out. Number nine, the batter. Now, Lisa, is that still? No, it is somebody different. And you're going to have to look because I don't get yep, it. Yep, I'll get it here in just a second. At the Boylan six, eight strikeout. Martin, the batter. Ball low. 1-1. One, one. Boylan is over the 70, going to be over 75 pitches, so he'll be in the next category and need four days rest. One ball, two strikes. One out. Stretch. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him. Strike three. Again, coming up, the post game brought to you by your Mount Sterling Foods, 200 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling. Check out their grocery specials in the DM on Wednesday's uh, Democrat message, 217 773 2213 to call and put in an order for your lunch. Pick up something from the deli. Check their Facebook page for that. Strike one called. Player of the ball game going to be brought to you by Casting Lumber Company. You'll find everything from home improvement to home decor. 
They have a full stock line of lumber, building, and uh, for every season, and unique gifts for every season. Casting Lumber Company, Route 99 South, Mount Sterling, 773-2611. Called strike again. Two strikes. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That's going to be the ball game, folks. Brown County wins in five, 14 to nothing. Lisa's getting her figures figured up there to give the postgame stats. The player of the ball game going to give it to number one to uh, Boylan. And uh, let's just give it the uh, offensive uh, <laughs> they have uh, for, for the top four batters, uh, all with home runs in today's ball game. And so Brown County wins 14 to nothing. That'll be... Um, Dieterle, Henry, Boylan, and Rabarchek all with home runs today. And then on the mound, Matt Boylan. Yeah, and he, go ahead and give the, yeah, the I was stats. I going to say, Matt, he had 78 pitches according to mine and 55 strikes on that. So great on there. They actually only had one hit. They had two left, or excuse me, three hits total and three people left on base. So and no runs were scored on them. On Brown County side of things, we said we had four home runs there. They actually had seven, eight hits. They had left three, four on base, and they had an error, two errors. Okay, with that, that's your postgame show brought to you by Mount Sterling Foods and your players of the ball game by Casting Lumber Company. For, if it doesn't rain to us out tomorrow, we plan on being a triopia for softball and baseball if we have enough girls uh, healthy. Healthy. And so with that, good night, goodbye, and God bless.